While tires provide years of service, they all eventually wear out and need to be replaced. The real question is when? Feedback from drivers concerned about what traction as their treads wore down told us it was time to measure the performance of the tires with different tread depths. Our test compared several sets of the same tires with new, worn, and nearly legally worn out tread depths. A new tire features deep grooves that channel water through the footprint to provide wet traction. Like most passenger car tires, our test tires began with 10 30 seconds of an inch of tread depth. The reduced depth of a worn tire's grooves restricts the amount of water that can pass. Our test tires had 4 30 seconds of an inch of remain tread depth, the distance from the edge of an inverted quarter to the top of Washington's head. Water flow is further reduced as the tread grooves of a worn out tire reach minimum legal tread depth. Our test tires had 2 30 seconds of an inch of remaining tread depth, the distance from the edge of an inverted penny to the top of Lincoln's head. Our tests consisted of 70 mile per hour runs ended by ABS assisted panic stops on asphalt covered by just five to six hundredths of an inch of water, typical of what's experienced during moderate rain showers. Speeds and distances traveled were recorded until the vehicle came to a complete stop. Perhaps the best view for comparing the tires was from the side, where distances were readily apparent. One of the most amazing discoveries was that the sedan equipped with two 32nd inch deep tires was still traveling 44 miles an hour when it passed the distance in which the four 32nd inch deep tires had brought the vehicle to a complete stop. We then repeated the same evaluations using a popular pickup truck. As expected, even with new tires, the heavier weight pickup took longer to stop than the lighter weight sedan. While the side view comparison again documented the action, it's amazing that neither the 432nd nor 232nd inch deep tires could stop the pickup in a distance that kept the vehicle on the screen. And we were again surprised to learn the pickup equipped with the 232nd inch deep tires was still traveling 47 miles an hour when it passed the distance in which the 4 32nd inch deep tires had brought the pickup to a complete stop. Imagine having successfully completed a panic stop on a crowded expressway and looking in your rearview mirror. Which of these images would you want to see? Since drivers can't run on new tires all the time, what's really the answer to our question when? The tire rack recommends that drivers consider replacing their tires when they reach 4 30 seconds of an inch of remaining tread depth, if wet roads are in their future. But ultimately, it's a personal decision for when the driver feels the extra value received by running their tires longer becomes offset by the loss of performance on wet roads. <music>